Welcome, this is your Option Monster Volatility Sonar Report. From the floor of the SIBO, this is Jamie Tyrrell of Group 1 Trading. Well, we are seeing a big, big down day today, the last day of trading in March for VIX options. When you have a move like this on the last day of a trading cycle in VIX, the move in the futures is extremely volatile. It's correlated almost one-to-one -one with the move in the cash. So March, the future has been up today as much as four and a half dollars. Now, if this were to happen next week, you'd see a much more limited move in the future because people would price in the fact that, well, the VIX is up high today, but in three or four weeks when we settle, it's likely to be a little bit lower. Today, you don't see any of that. Although it, the market has rallied back and the futures have come back down, they are moving in lockstep with the cash. Right now in the mid-24s, had been as high as 26 and a half. In option paper day, it's just been a ton of volume. In the morning, March was the uh, month that was trading uh, almost exclusively. You had people trading the March 25s that as of yesterday were trading for a dime. Today, as high as almost $2. There's been a lot of back and forth on those 25s and right now they're worth 50 cents. So <clears throat> people buying them in the morning were covering against an even bigger meltdown when the market rallies back, those are gonna lose a lot of their value. What's been very interesting is back month's VIX trading. In April, May, and June, originally the market was pricing that today's event would have a large impact on the back month VIX volatility market. Throughout the day, that impact has become to melt away as people are pounding April, May, and June volatility. They're mostly doing this by selling straddles, the May 25 straddle, the June 21 straddle. Another way they're doing it is one by two put spreads. The April 25, 21, one by two put spread traded throughout the morning for 115. The customer coming in, buying the one, selling the two. That tends to blunt the volatility that people are seeing in the month because the crowd who's taking the other side of the trade is getting saddled with two of that downside put and it tends to take in volatility. So we're seeing April, May, June volatility levels just a little bit higher than they were yesterday. Not a significant move. March, <clears throat> it's gonna be interesting. If we go overnight at 25 even, people are wondering where that straddle is gonna be priced. It could be a dollar, it could be a dollar 30. It's not gonna be something like 30, 40, 50 cents that we've been seeing on the overnight straddles in weeks, pa in expirations past because there's just so much of a possibility of another big event. Jamie Tyrrell with Group One, Option Monster.